Yeah, so the the, the main thing uh, that I've had in my life so far, um, that's almost like the underlying story of, uh, and, and it's given me perspective whenever I can speak to other people about health uh, and wealth was, it was a, a hormone issue, which is really common, apparently. It's an underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism. And it's really, really common. But a lot of people don't pick up on it. They just think that certain symptoms are, are something that's just them now. It's just how they've turned out. But mine was a bit more dramatic. Mine was, uh, it kicked in when I was 18. So my, my weight's always yo-yoed. It was always chubby kid. And then all of a sudden I'd spend 12 months slim. And I just thought it was growing up. Your parents say that you fill out and then you're tall. You fill out and then you're tall. And I just <laughs> kind of subscribe to that. But when I was 18... Uh, I was I was going through a slim stage and uh, we broke up for college for the Christmas break. And when I went back after two weeks, I was a stone, uh, 14 pounds, I don't know how many kilos that is, heavier than I was mm. when I went back. And everybody in the college, in my art class, was saying, what the hell have you done over the last two weeks? Like, I was <laughs> obviously, you gain a 14 pounds of weight. It's noticeable. Mm. And I thought, I don't really know. I don't know what I've done. Uh, the the one thing I've done differently, I got bought a bottle of Baileys. So I put it down mm. to that. I was like, well, I've been sipping Baileys for two weeks. It was only a small bottle. So Jesus, I better not go near that stuff again. <laughs> um, but it was it was a very, very quick inflammation and, uh, and weight gain. And I had big, deep purple stretch marks all down the inside of my arms and all up my sides and all down my inner thighs and stuff. And I thought, this is this is not Bailey's. This is not food. Something's mm -hmm. gone wrong here. So this was the first time I ever got let down by uh, a GP, a uh, general practitioner in the UK. I'm not sure what they call that in America. Is it in, just, just your local doctor? Yeah, maybe just doctor, I think. Yeah, well, you just go to, well, in, in the NHS, you get allocated a, a doctor at a local surgery dependent on your postcode. So I goes to the local doctor and I said, look, I've gained all this weight in two to three weeks. Something's not right. And I took my top off, dropped my pants, and he just poked and prodded me a little bit. And he looked up at me and went, you're just fat, aren't you? <laughs> he said, that's what he said. Those were his words. Those words are ingrained in my brain for the rest um, of my life, and I'm able to laugh about it now. How yeah. funny it is! I think he, I think he eventually got struck off after maybe a decade oh, later. But yeah. yeah, so this guy was quite renowned for being a bit of an asshole, and yeah, he he poked and prodded a a poor eighteen vulnerable eighteen year old who's just gained a stone mm. of weight. Is supposedly in his prime in college trying to get girls, and just said, "You're just fat, aren't you?" Uh, and, I, and I thought, well, I wasn't three weeks ago, pal. So <laughs> is there something we can do about this? He said, yeah, yeah. And he, it looked like he couldn't give a shit, to be honest. He said, yeah, we'll just mm -hmm. send off for some tests and see what, what comes back. So we went back a few weeks later. And he said, well, turns out you've got an underactive thyroid gland. And it's a good job we caught it because it can be fatal. Those were his words. I don't know if that's true. Mm -hmm. And I, I just looked at him and said, we... I'm just fat, remember? <laughs> you just called me fat. <laughs> so that was the that was the beginning of my journey of taking a tablet a day for the rest of your life, which is what you were subscribed to once that's the diagnosis. Yeah, it's um mm. a, a synthetic um thyroid uh, replacement sort of pill that you just take every morning, and it get, get, gets your levels straight. Um, but they they never actually leveled off. I didn't lose the weight, kept the stretch marks. And this went on for about 18 years, I would say, until it was, uh, uh, it was somewhat, you know, fixed or back to being normal again. Uh, and, in, and in there was quite a lot of self-medicating and becoming my own doctor because of the lack of faith I then had in that doctor. You didn't know back then, or I wasn't encouraged by parents because they were uneducated about this sort of stuff, about being able to go and find your own path and find a specialist. Find, you know, I was I was eighteen, so the you know, the internet wasn't as a, uh, and I would guess naturopathic stuff was not so big on the internet back then, and 
Um, mm. I just I just didn't have the awareness to go and seek out other advice. You just listen to your doctor. You just listen to your dentist. You just listen to your banker. They know everything. Um, but you, it turns out he didn't. The thing that I kind of speak on a lot on the podcast is about the the health service and doctors in general. That, that literally their job is not to make you better. Their job is to feed you pills and drugs and uh, and get money for the drug companies. 